It's finally come. Let's do some abs training. Today we're going to be targeting abs and I'm going to give you a little few tips of how to get those 3D popping abs and a little things that can help you with your abs training when you're focusing, okay? The first exercise we're going to start with, we're going to start with seated weight crunches, we're going to do a drop set on them. And it's good to do drop sets with abs like this because that helps you build that, that thickness of your abs. You ever see those guys with the abs that pop straight out, like they're drawn on? You know, that's what you want to get. So we're going to do a drop set with the uh, seated crunches that's going to give you that thickness, that deep, deep groove, okay? machine that I'm using right now is actually pretty good because um, it really helps you contract those abs. When it comes to abs, one thing that people they have a problem with is that they never achieve their abs because they're not really training them as effectively as they should be, okay? Whenever you do abs, you want to make sure that your, your chest cavity rolls down into your lower hips or vice versa if you're doing leg raises. Okay, you want to make sure that those two crunch all the way in. You gotta think of it as like a cobra belly. You ever see a snake's belly? A snake's belly's got all the lines in the middle and it's got that big cobra back. So that's what you wanna think about. When a snake's belly rolls in, roll all the way in. You need to bring those abs tight, real tight in. And that's what's gonna help you get those deep, deep, deep grooves. Think of it that way. Every time you do your crunches, every time you do any style of abs, bring it in, all the way in, contract it, fully contract it, okay? Good. I like killing Megan. Putting my abs to do some heavy work in the beginning, you know. I mean, I've been doing abs for so long that when I do any of the regular workouts, you really don't feel them anymore. You know, they don't burn. But that's okay. You don't have to. They don't have to burn for them to be working. Okay. Just because that you're not burning or killing it or feeling it during the workout doesn't mean that it's not working. It's still effective. Okay. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about the burn too much because it's still effective as long as you're doing it the right way. However, I still like to do heavy ab crunches like this in the beginning of my ab workouts, almost pre-exhaust them before I challenge them with body weight stuff. That's good. You can even do them vice versa. Do body weight stuff first and then um, go over to the uh, heavy stuff like this. Whichever works best for you. I like to start this way because that, may, that way I don't have to struggle towards the end when it comes to the body weight stuff, which you will be doing pretty damn soon. Let me finish just doing our Drop sets on the uh, seated crunches. We're gonna go over to the floor. And we're gonna tackle more the body weight, body weight ab exercises. Now, when it comes to body weight ab exercises, I don't really, I don't really like to count them. Um, I just like to go until it, till, till you can't go anymore. It's body weight. I mean, you're, everyone's body weight is different. If I tell you to do 10 reps for your body weight, you can probably do more. If I tell you to do 20, you can probably do less. So when it comes to body weight exercises and you're doing sets, when I'm doing sets, I just like to go until I can't go anymore, you know? That's why we pre-exhausted our muscles on the, uh, on the drop sets on the machine. Because when you put weight machine, when you do weight app exercises, you can actually go to a targeted rep. You can actually go to a targeted rep. When you're doing body weight, you just keep going. Just go until it burns, go until you can't go anymore. That's the way you're gonna improve your ab endurance. That's the way you improve your core strength. That's the way you're gonna have your six pack all year round. So we're gonna do uh, full crunches, completely different, called uh, full sit-ups. Full sit-ups where you come up and your chest comes over your knees, okay? Your chest comes over your knees. I know some people may have a little extra room here that may, can't make that uh, prevents you from going there, but they get rid of that soon enough. So, full crunches, let's do five sets, as many as you can each set.
first two exercises we'll be working on the uh, full contraction of the abdomen wall. That's more even working on the transverse abdomen. So now we're gonna work on the full extension of it, the full extension. Like I said before, the cobra belly, your abs come out and in. And the full extension is when you're trying to form, bend back and your spine elongates over, okay? So we're gonna work on that. We're gonna be using the, um, the back extension machine for this one. And I like to use this one a lot because it gives you that full range of motion for that full extension to the full contraction of your ass. Let's do it. Extend all the way. Extension, contraction. Extension, contra contraction for abs. That's the focus of today. we were focusing on two parts, the uh, flexion or the extension and the contraction. Like I said, you have to bring your, your upper part to your lower part, really contract, feel those abs coming in together. That's the whole purpose of the abs, you know, it keeps the core together, keeps you stabilized, but also that extension and that flexion. So make sure when you're focusing on your abs training that you remember that. Keep that in mind. When you're doing crunches, are you just doing half crunches or are you actually letting your entire chest cavity roll into your hips. Or if you're doing leg raises, are you letting your hips go up into your chest cavity? Remember, cobra belly, remember that, remember that, cobra belly. Cobra belly, ninja turtle back. That's all you have to focus on, okay? Abs training, uh, you can click on the link over here, see my other ab workouts, subscribe, share, you know what to do.